genre out there called monster porn. Oh God! How would you know that unless you looked at it yourself? <laughs> I, I, no, I, I question this. I was this. looking up um, Bigfoot, and they sure. Was... Okay, so oh. you got a foot fetish, Andrew? No, I don't. Well, why would you look at Bigfoot? Oh, that's a big. That's a big foot. That's bigger than my dick. What you? What are you? What are you looking at, Andrew? <laughs> oh God, this is this is getting weird. So continue your story about monster at, porn. I'm looking at big feet. Okay, guys. Matthew. <laughs> Matt. <laughs> Matthew's thinking about it. Now we know what Andrew does in his spare time. Gets home from school and jacks off. Yeah, two feet. Yes. Yeah, probably to your own. Probably feet. probably to your own. No. Wouldn't that hurt? <laughs> I prefer big, hairy, baby feet. Baby? What the fuck? That's why you go to the zoo. Just dress up in a gorilla suit. True. Speaking of uh, zoos, when I was a kid, we had this family friend that worked at the zoo. And, uh... He got us in, like, the backstage of the zoo, you know, when you go, like, behind, you actually go, like, in animal places and hang out with animals. Mm. When I was a kid, I didn't have any friends, and my best friend was a baby elephant who I taught to throw watermelons at people. You can't say that's not awesome. Cool. His name was Ronnie, and, like, when I was six, they moved him to Paris, and I was utterly heartbroken for, like, three years. Wow. The Paris uh, zoo still sends us fucking pictures. They send him pictures every year. Nice. That's nice. Yeah, I know, right? Because, like, you know, like, that was, that was, like, the first animal I ever loved, you know? It was, like, I taught a baby elephant to throw watermelon at people. <laughs> like, you would give him a piece of watermelon. He, would, he wouldn't eat it. He'd chuck it at someone's fucking head. Give him a concussion. That elephant was awesome. Grand Theft Elephant. Fuck that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Grand Theft Walrus. Just, like, he could shoot bullets out of his fucking trunk, too. <laughs> piss lasers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Okay, so here's the topic. What's the weirdest thing that's ever happened to you when you were a kid? Weirdest thing, like, of your childhood, ages uh, 1 to 10. Anywhere man, between 1 to 10. I weirdest thing ever. I cannot come up with anything. I had a the really boring life, okay? Thing. Okay, I can top this. So when I was in Boy Scouts, uh, you know how I used to get beat up a lot by other Jewish kids? Mm -hmm. yeah, I have a story where a kid's dick ends up getting bit off by a deer. <laughs> I've uh, I've told this story a lot. I've probably told Matthew this story before. Oh yeah, you told me. But not <laughs> Andrew. But it's a great fucking story. Because I think I showed Matthew the picture of the dick. It was on a kid's Facebook, and Mac Matthew started puking or something. Because it's like half Robo Dick. <laughs> Remember it? Yeah, robotic. Yeah, like it's got like a catheter in it, and it's like sewn up with robot metal parts. So here's the story. I was in like fifth or sixth grade, and. uh this is like when I was eight or nine or ten, and we didn't have, I didn't have a phone yet, you know? And uh, Matthew, I want Matthew to verify that my dad's a fucking asshole before, uh, before I go into this. Matthew has met my dad on like one occasion, and my dad's kind of an asshole. Uh, Remember when we went to the, uh, the school thing? Matthew, when we went to, uh, like, when you were still at school and we went to the uh, teacher-parent conference thing, or mm -hmm. open house, and my dad was like an asshole. Like, he, all he does was talking business with your dad. Like, he wasn't even trying to be friendly and shit. Yeah. And Matthew just looks at me and he goes, that's your dad? He goes, I'm like, yeah. I'm like, and Matthew's like, he's a fucking asshole. I'm like, I know, right? <laughs> so, anyway, back when we were, uh, back when I was in Boy Scouts, or Scout, I, I, uh, it was Cub Scouts when I was a kid, and it's Boy Scouts when you're older. Oh, I was in the oldest pack in Florida. We were all Jews. It was the Jewish Scout Troop. We were the oldest Scout Troop. It was Pack 14. And our motto was, we're Pack 14. We have no fear. You play your games. We drink our beer. You fucking queer. Like, we hated gays. Like, the Scout Troop hated gays. Like, That's horrible. I know, it was. But, like, I had to do it. It was, you had to do that one thing, you know, that elective in fifth grade. It's like, you can do home ec and cooking, or you can just be a man and go in the woods. <laughs> so, one of our camping trips every year, we went to uh, St. Mary's in Georgia. The Florida, you know, Florida, Georgia borderline? Uh-huh, yeah. And, uh, so, many things happen on that trip. Every year, like, okay, let me put it this way. I've been stranded on islands there, lost at sea. Not sea, I've been lost in the river. Uh... I got shredded on an island by my own cousin. I've been left naked with my underwear in below freezing weather there. <sighs> like, but this story is the best because it ends up with this dude I hate. Like, you know when you're young and you have school rivalries with a kid? Like, you guys are just like rivals. Uh -huh. So, like, this dude, 
cheated on the Pinewood Derby where you build a little car and go down a hill. He yeah. cheated in front of everybody and like stole my first place trophy. Like I never won until like the last year of Boy Scouts where I built a Ferrari Enzo out of wood and drove it down there. And he like greased his wheels and beat me by a second. But anyway, so this story is uh, our scout troop had a, a John boat, a military John boat, right? Mm. And we used it for fishing. It had no guns. It had nothing on it. It was just a fishing boat. And it was me, my friend Liam, his dad, and our friend Aaron. Who was Aaron was the cool older kid, you know, you hang out with in the group. He's like a few grades older than you, but he's really cool, you know? Mm-hmm. Like, you know what I mean? Like in every movie you see about teenagers, he's the one oldest person in the group. But uh, mm-hmm. So we went fishing, and we left at like 9 in the morning. And nobody said the night before, but they left the boat. They had uh, not filled it up with gas. So we, we went missing for 11 hours. And like... Uh-huh. Everybody, all the dads were drunk. This is true. All the dads were fucking drunk. This is great. Like, all we did was, uh, on Friday nights, this is a Jewish tradition in Shabbat, you, uh, you do the Shabbat, you do the prayers, and then drink a whole bottle of wine. Yeah. So, we're gone for 11 hours, and, like, we're fishing and shit. We run out of gas. We're like, oh, shit, what do we do? We don't want to swim, because this is St. Mary's. There's, like, gators and shit here. We went from St. Mary's, Georgia, to the Suwannee River. That's how far down we went in Florida. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. And so we nice. used berries and alcohol we found floating in the river in a bottle as fuel. That was my idea. And it got us back there. We got back and it was like 9 p.m. And we get back there and we have to swim the boat. Like I'm like 10, Liam's 10, Liam's dad's there. And Aaron's, we're pulling the boat. We get back and like my dad's like drunkly comes up to me and picks me up and goes, where the fuck have you been, you little piece of shit? And I'm like, been missing for like 11 hours. He's like, why didn't you call me? I'm like, I don't have a phone. I'm 10 years old. To which the response is, he punches me. He starts, like, beating me in front of everybody because he thinks I'm lying, you know? You know when your parents think you're lying and they just start beating the shit out of you? Yeah. Yeah, that happened. So anyway, he asked Douglas. Douglas saw us. When we got back, we were like, Douglas, go get help. And Douglas flipped us off. So Douglas was like, oh, you know, I'm just going to lie and see how far trouble I can get them. Even though I had an adult and two other witnesses with me who said otherwise, you know? Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. So we're just sitting there. Matthew, and Matthew knows this story, like, by heart. So he's just going to laugh at the parts he's going to laugh at. So we're sitting there. It's like 4 in the morning, 2 in the morning or something like that. We're, it's me, Liam, Liam. It's me, Liam, and Liam's dad, and Aaron by the campfire. And Liam's dad's kind of got those one of those Israeli Jewish accents that sounds like he's from a 7-Eleven. And he goes, kids, I know what we're all thinking. Let's get revenge on that little shit. So, and Douglas, what, Douglas's last name is Nerdbert. Douglas Nerdbert. So, like, Nerd Bird. Like, that's the legit last name. Wow. So, and like, I'm going to go to bed. Really? You're not going to let me finish the story? I believe I already heard it. No, you didn't. You just said you didn't at the beginning of it. Uh, okay. Can I finish dead, it and then you dead. can go to bed? Dead. Yes. So, story goes, we, uh, we, uh, Aaron burns his clothes. Me and Liam burn the tent. And then he's sleeping naked in the woods. And the rednecks who run the fishing store, who I revisit every year, I still visit them to this day, they had a baby deer that its mother got run over by a car, a police car. So they raised the baby. It's 11 months old. She's like a big lap dog. She loves everybody. They taught it to play with dog rope toys. And Douglas was sitting on his car and wearing a towel and eating an apple. And this deer will do anything for an apple. So she goes up to him. She wants the apple. She's like, oh, give me the apple. She like jumps on him. He's like, no, I don't. It's my apple. And he's like, no, it's mine. And then he kicks her. And her response is to bite him in the dick and drag him across the field. And he's <laughs> screaming his fucking ass off. <laughs> and this is true. Matthew knows this is true. So it goes, and one of the dads in our group was a vet. And last year, his son got raped by a male deer for a bagel. And it was great. So he hears screaming, and they're like, and one of the dads goes, Aren't you going to help it? He goes, it ain't my kid. I don't give two shits. So <laughs> Douglas wow. gets out of the woods. He, he's limping back. He's like, his legs covered in blood. And he's limping back to his car. And he gets in the car. It's a van. And he locks the door. The deer runs at full speed, jumps on a fucking bench, and dives through the windshield. Drags his ass back out of the car into the woods. Again. So, and we're all laughing at this. Like, he's coming up. He's like, Jacob, get help. And I'm like, what did you do to me? Oh, yeah, I gave him the bird. Like, he gave us the bird when we were stranded in that boat. And he's just getting dragged away. So, eventually, the ambulance comes. He goes to the hospital. And 
So he's got like this half robot. He's like Robot Boy. He's got like a half robot dick. So, wow. and like eight years later, he's like sophomore in high school. This is the greatest part. He gets to go to prom with the hottest girl at his school, but he can't fuck her. So his response to this is, on a Facebook post, I went to prom with the hottest girl in my school, but I can't fuck her. Hashtag, I goddamn hate you, Jacob. <laughs> wow. That is my revenge. <laughs> Matthew's laughing. Uh, well, Andrew, we'll let you go. Middle of the podcast. Okay. See you later. Later. See ya. I guess me and Matthew could talk about stuff still. So, uh, you got any stories, or should I just keep telling them? Dude, I don't really have... I probably do, but... You just don't remember them. <laughs> I still don't remember any, man. Um, did I tell you the ghost story? I've been... Um, I've had three yeah, ghost stories. Say it. I don't think I remember. Uh, if, one of them is... You, uh, told me. You, remember, you remember how the... Uh, you remember how the, uh, the St. Augustine Wax Museum just opened last year again? Yeah. Uh, me and my friend Liam, again, it was his eighth birthday. And I, I was nine, he was eight. And his mom goes, oh, let's go to the Wax Museum in St. Augustine. So we all go there. There's like 30 kids. And he invited like his whole soccer team, some friends from school. We're all just chilling, you know? And chill, chill. So we're going to the Wax Museum. And you were seeing like statues move and shit and stuff. And the guy's like, oh, this is normal. It's one of the most haunted places on the planet. They like to do that. So we're we're just chilling. We're walking around, and uh, and uh, we end the uh, we get to the end of the party. You know, we go to the old museum, and the guy goes, "Here, let me take your picture." The the host of the wax museum, he takes the picture, and after this like this blinding flash, we were like hit your head on something, and like your face, like when you close your eyes, it goes all white. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there's that, and uh, like we're he disappears. The camera's on the floor, and Liam looks at the picture on the camera, and the whole building is covered in like vines and shit. We turn around, the whole building's covered in vines. And everyone's like, oh, that's a great party. My mom doesn't even... You can ask my mom this. She doesn't remember going to the party at all. But she's in the picture, you know? Mm -hmm. This is all true. I don't care if you don't believe in ghosts or not, but you're, you probably believe me, right? I uh, don't know. So this is, the, this is the truth. Just listen to this. So Liam says that's kind of weird. And he goes, you know how there's those guys who do the horse carriages in St. Augustine? Mm -hmm. He goes up to one of them and goes, hey, mister... Why does the wax museum look like it's been abandoned? He goes, don't you kids know? It's been like that for 30 years. And Liam goes, God fucking damn it. And I was like, what's wrong? He goes, the ghost took my fucking birthday money. <laughs> and we're laughing our asses off because we're like, dude, I'm like, dude, you just got robbed by a ghost. <laughs> like, he, he chose the place he wanted to go for his birthday with like the $50 he got. Mm -hmm. And he chose the wax museum. We all went, and he, the ghost just took his fifty dollars. <laughs> and we're like, "Oh my god, that's hilarious!" <sighs> I mean, you know how because Saint Augustine's four hundred fifty years old, so it's one of the most haunted yeah. places on the planet. I can't. I can tell you this: I've been to a lot of haunted places when I camped out, and I've been locked in so many fucking bathrooms. Like, I this is where I learned it: never go to the bathroom alone, or leave your door open when you go to the bathroom. Uh -huh. I got another one. You want to hear it? Uh, sure. Uh, you have, have you been to the St. Augustine Lighthouse? Never been in it. I drove by it. So the lighthouse was, uh, it used to be run by a guy, and his, he had three daughters. And one day we were camping there, and I had to go to the bathroom. We were on a tour. And I walk up and see this little girl in, like, 1900s clothing. And I was like, I thought, you know, because people are in character when they're, when they're tour guides for the museum and shit, you know? Yeah. So, like, hey, do you know where the bathroom is? And she's like, I'm, like, 10 years old. She goes, like, yeah, it's over here. Let me show you. So she walks me over there. And she goes, the door's kind of big and metal, so you might want to leave it open a bit. I'm like, okay. So I, I leave it open. A little bit, like a crack. I put like mm -hmm. one of those shoe things there, you know, those like door stoppers. And uh, it's a big metal door, so it slams. And I'm like, oh shit. I'm like, the door's like, I'm locked in there for like eight hours. They had to call the fire department. But like, before they did that, like all I heard was giggling, you know? Like, just mm -hmm. little girl, like, hee hee, giggling. And I'm like, let me out. And she's like, I told you it was a big, heavy door. You didn't listen to me. And I'm like, come on, let me out. So uh, they get the thing out. And they're like, and you know what's really funny? This is the, they get the, the fire department come out. And I was like, like, come on, you can come out. I'm like, I can't. The door is locked. This is the best bait. You know what the, fi the fire marshal told me? The door doesn't even have a lock. Mm -hmm. The door never had a lock. But I was locked in the bathroom. And they're like, Kid, how'd you even get into this bathroom? It's it's a it's not a real bathroom. It's a, well, it was. It used to be, you know. 
but it was a uh, display bathroom from what they used to be like, you know? You know what mm-hmm. I mean? And I was like, mm-hmm. I was like, a little girl let me in. And she, they're like, what little girl? And I said, uh, she wore this clothing. And they, the, the fire marshal points at a picture and he goes, this little girl? And I'm like, yeah, that was her. He goes, she's been dead for 150 years. And I'm like, what the fuck? I'm like, <laughs> like <laughs> what? Okay. Yeah, I know. But I mean, you, you haven't probably had any, you haven't seen shadows or anything like that? Ghost experiences? Uh, no. I've got one more that can top the cake. So uh, this was when I was in first grade, and I was in a, uh, I was in Cub Scouts again. We went to a old Civil War battle called Fort Clinch, right? Hmm. And uh, the first one happened. We were on tour, so we were on tour, and uh, all these guys had their jobs. So we saw this guy in like a Confederate soldier uniform walking around, spinning his rifle. And my dad goes, "What does that guy do?" And the old man giving us a tour goes, "What guy?" Like we can all see him, and the old man turns around. And he goes, "There's nobody there." Like, what? So they're talking about a story about this lady called the Black Widow. The Black Widow is a lady who married eight guys and then killed them all for their money. They were soldiers, right? Uh-huh. This was after the Civil War. That's it's it's great. So easy. they're talking about their the, the house that they, they used to live, like, by the base. Uh-huh. And they never find the house. But they, they, if they find it, like, they want to, uh, you know, make it a museum. So the story goes, she murdered all eight of her husbands. They had a black gardener. You know, a black gardener, like a slave gardener. Mm-hmm. And uh, he saw the eighth husband get murdered, so he came in and murdered her, and she murdered him, the gardener. So yeah. So it was a, they all died. And uh, this is that bit when you're, when you go in a group of kids, and you go on a hike, you know? I don't know if you've ever been in, like, Cub Scouts or Boy Scouts. Nope. So this is fun. I don't care if you believe this story or not, but it happened, and we all remember it happening. Huh. So it's great. So it goes like this. So all the adults went in a group, and they divided the kids up into groups. So it was me, Liam, the Scoutmaster's son, Charles Pet, Charles Pat, whatever his name is, Charles. Pet. So. Yeah, Pet. Pat. Pet. I forget. <laughs> I'm, I'm old. Uh, our, our friend Aaron, this is when they were in third grade. <laughs> My cousin Josh, his friend Jonah, and their friend Jacob. Different Jacob. So we're all, uh, they're a group. And they're like, and this is a midnight hike, so we're in the woods, and we're lost as fuck. Uh-huh. So we're trying to go around. We found the house from the story. Now, the story went, on the eighth murder, the black gardener used his hoe to break down a door and save, try to save the eighth husband, right? Uh-huh. But he got stabbed by the wife, and he killed her with a hoe. Like, went into her chest and crushed her lungs and shit. So, we, uh, we're in the house, and the door's broken down, like, in the story. Uh-huh. And, you know, we're like, oh, shit, they got a wine cellar. And this is when my cousin Josh and his friend Jonah and their friend Jacob thought, let's go drink. And we're in, like, fucking first grade. You know? Uh-huh. They're like, oh, parents can drink. This is 200-year-old wine, by the way. So they go to the cellar, and the door locks behind them. And we're like, oh, shit, let's go loot some shit. You know, because, I, I, you know, antique silver candlesticks are worth a fucking fortune, you know? Mm-hmm. And the house looks like it's just, like, brand new. Besides the door, it looks like it's brand new as fuck. So me, Jonah, Aaron, and Liam go upstairs, while Jonah, Josh, and Jacob go to the cellar. And while we're upstairs, we hear this loud dumping noise, you know, like a door just fucking shut. Uh-huh. We go downstairs. The door is not broken anymore. The door is actually in its door frame and locked. So we're like, what the fuck? We're like, oh, someone. The, it's the other guys. They're pranking us, you know? They're joking. You know? They're just joking mm-hmm. with us. We yeah. try to open the door and it doesn't work. And we hear laughing. Like, we hear a woman laughing. And we're like, oh, God, what the fuck is this? We're like, like I shit my pants probably. I don't remember, but I probably did. It was first grade. I was a pussy. I'll admit to that, you know? Mm-hmm. So, and Charles picks up a chair, and the chair kind of breaks because it's old, and he's got a chair leg, and he's like, I'll fight the ghost. I'm brave. And I'm like, it's a chair leg. It's going to go through it. I'm like, yeah, <laughs> you know? Mm-hmm. So we all we hear is get out. Like, guys are screaming, get out, she's coming. And then we hear this woman scream, fresh meat. Like, fresh meat. And we're like, oh, God, we're going to die. We're going to die. I'm like, oh, what the heck? Your what? voice went all, like, yeah, techno know, right? on me. Right? <laughs> yeah, that's what happened in the story, too. It's like, we're freaking the fuck out. We're, we're screaming. We're crying. Some of us are crying. Liam was crying. And uh, we're freaking out. And uh, she's. we see a mist coming down the stairs, and it looks like a lady, right? Like a shadow. You know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. And, uh, the door breaks down, and who saves us but the ghost of the Black Garden? He goes, y'all little crackers need to get the fuck out of here. And we're like, 
okay, shit, we bolt. We get back to the campsite, and a lot of dads are like, oh, you're back so soon you've only been gone for 20 minutes. And we're like, what? And so we get to the campsite, and you know what we just realized? What? Jonah, Jacob, and Josh didn't come back with us. They were still in the cellar. <laughs> so, oh. and the next day, they wandered back to camp and passed out. Now, my cousin and his two friends, their hair from that day turned white. Like, you know how there's that theory that's proven, like, that if you get so She's scared, your scared. hair turns white? You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. So that happened to them. They dyed their hair. And whenever you bring up this event with them, they go silent and, like, stare into space. Like, they don't talk about what happened to them. I think the ghost raped them, personally. <laughs> like, I think she had sex with them, you know? Mm-hmm. Because, <laughs> like, they, they just don't talk about it. Like, it's like, hey, what happened in first grade? And they're just like, 20 minutes of just staring into space. And you're just like, you okay? Okay. <laughs> yeah, it's like, you, you okay? I mean, that's my weird childhood experience on paranormal shit. Mm-hmm. Uh, do you have, I don't care if you believe them or not, but do you have an opinion? What's your opinion? No. <laughs> I don't care. You, you can, I can show you a picture of my cousin with his white ass hair. When I find it, I'll have him send it to me. I'll have a sister send it to me. Dad, you haven't had any like weird experiences like that where weird shit happens, it's unexplainable? Uh, I don't think so. You haven't seen a shadow that wasn't really there? Or like heard a voice that's not like you're alone at home and you just hear voices? No, but if I did, I'd be pretty freaked out. Like, you know what's weird is when you're home alone and you're like watching TV and you hear like your mom call you and she's not home. And then you'll call her and be like, hey, are you home? And they're like, no, I'm at the store. And you're like, who the fuck just called my name? You know? Mm -hmm. You've never had that? Not really. I mean, you know the paranormal is real, right? Like the weird shit is actually real. Yeah, I mean... <laughs> but then again, no, I was really young. Can happen. I was really young, and it happen. might have been imagination, so that's also an option. Yeah, that's what I was thinking, like... But, like, imagination. But my cousin's hair is actually white. Like, he has to dye it back every year. You know? <laughs> so what the fuck happened to him? So, like, you never had anything weird happen to you? Mm. I'm trying to, uh, find my cousin. You know what I hate when you go on Facebook and you're, like, trying to find people? And, like, you look up one person, they all have the same name as other people. You know what I'm saying? Matthew? Hello? Mm -hmm. Hey, there you are. I was saying, you know what I'm saying? When you, like, look up somebody on Facebook, and they've got, like, the same name as, uh, as everybody else? Uh, yeah, sometimes. I mean, really, for me, it's really hard to see. To say or to see? What? I don't know. Anyway. <laughs> yeah, so, uh, you've had nothing weird happen to you in your entire life. Mm -hmm. Like, you've never gone anywhere and, like, weird shit happened, like... I mean, I've seen people arguing and, like, fighting one time. <laughs> I saw a hobo get tased in St. Augustine once. Like, he, he, you know how a lot of hobos live in St. Augustine and on, like, weekends they'll beg and shit? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, like, I, mean, I have a feeling you're doing something else while we're talking. Yeah, I am. <laughs> like you're masturbating or something. Uh, how did you know? Because I can hear the fapping in the background. Yeah, right there. No, but, uh, <laughs> nah, but, you know, I mean, like, the weirdest thing that happened recently was, uh, this is pretty weird. So we went to St. Augustine, right? And uh, me and my sister went to this ice cream store. And the, besides the guy hitting on her, that wasn't the weird part. So we go to this makeup store right next door, right? 
And these people are kind of too perfect, you know? Like, they're really, like, perfect, you know? Mm -hmm. Like, and I'm like, yeah, can I use your bathroom? And they're like, sure. And so they lead me upstairs. This one dude leads me upstairs. And the bathroom is boarded up. Like, it, it looks like somebody's been evicted and the building's been abandoned for, like, 100 years, right? Mm -hmm. So I go to the bathroom. They're like, just make sure you lock the door on your way out. I'm like, okay. So there's no lights. It's like one of those old-timey wooden bathrooms, you know? So I use it, and I go downstairs, and we leave the store. And my sister goes, I think I left my jacket in there. And we turn around, and the whole building looks like the bathroom. It looks like it's evicted, and it's, like, covered in wood, and, like, it says, do not enter and shit, you know? It says, renovations from the state of Florida on it, you know? And my sister's yeah. like, what the fuck? We were just in there. And so we were talking to those guys, and I'm like, I don't think any of that was real. I think they were dead. I'm like, I think those people were dead. And uh, you're not getting your jacket back, so uh, let's go home. <laughs> I'm not going back in there, you know? So, like, you never, like, do you believe in ghosts? I don't. But you think paranormal shit's real? No. You just said... I mean, I, I, I think it's kind of... I think it is real, but it's, like, creepy stuff, you know? Oh, you, so you think creepypastas are real? No, I do not believe creepypastas are real. They're just made-up stories. Uh. That's what I believe, they're made-up stories. Uh. But, I mean, like... I mean, if there's paranormal stuff going on, like, I don't know, I would run. Define paranormal like ghost invasion or zombie apocalypse? Like, both, dude. <laughs> zombie ghost apocalypse. <laughs> like, if things are moving and um, stuff like that, you know. <laughs> if things are moving, everybody moves. So, like... Like, you've never been home alone and, like, just heard your voice, your mom's, like, calling your voice or your dad telling you to go do something and nobody's there? One time I thought, well, sometimes, I mean, one time I thought that my parents were calling me one time. And, like, no one was home? No, they were home. Oh. So, like, you think paranormal shit's real, but you don't think, like, most of it's real? Like, you don't think zombies are real? No, I don't believe zombies are real. Well... There's actually two things that can actually cause zombies to be real, and it's a brain parasite and yeah, I toxin, believe, like, toxin gas. I believe that, like, like drugs and stuff like that can, can cause like, make you like a zombie, you know, yeah. like, because you could, like, start being weird and everything. and eating Bat salts, eating people, Miami. Yeah, like, you start eating, try to eat people, like, bat salts. We almost had a zombie apocalypse, but they didn't kill that guy. The world would have gone to shit. Everything changed when the Fire Nation attacked. Yep. No, so, like, what's the weirdest thing that's ever happened to you, anyway? We got, like, a minute left. Come on, there's gotta be something. Huh. I really don't... I can't think right now for some reason. Like, I don't know, like... Because you're masturbating. Ah. Uh, can't think about something weird that happened to me. I mean, uh, not, yeah, it's not just anything weird, like the weirdest thing that's ever happened to you in your entire fucking life. Uh, I mean, I could tell you something where, like, we, uh, we thought we lost somebody or something like that. Okay, that, yeah, that. do that, do that, make it like, like a minute. uh, one time, <clears throat> like, uh, me and my parents, like, we go to, um, we go to, like, like we have some friends and they're around my age. And your age, not your age, or they are? They're, they're around my age, like, younger. A little bit younger my age and a little bit older. And, um, like, they camp, and, like, they'll take us there. Like, my, my parents will drive us there to where they're camping, which is usually nearby or something like You're that. In the woods? Are they hobos? And, no. <laughs> and, um, so, you know, when we get there, uh, I remember one time... Well, usually we go to, like, this one place. I, know, I forgot what it's called, but it's, like, right by a, a beach. And, um... Is it, how far is it? 
that's a good drive. I think it's like Georgia or something like that. And um, uh. so we went up there, and I remember like so you know like I met everybody and like was that the first time like, you met everybody? No, this, this is like probably like third time <laughs> or fourth time, and so like. Like, it's morning So these kids like, are your it's age, like right? It's like they're, they're afternoon. They're like 13, 14 when you were this happened or something? Um, I was about, yeah, 15. So these kids are your age, yes? Yes, okay. around my age. And, um, and hobos, apparently. <laughs> no. And so we go there, and uh, it's like afternoon and all that. And, you know, of course, like we're like, hanging out and stuff like that. And then so, you know, after a while, we're like, we're talking stuff like that, you know, hanging out at, like, yeah. this park that's there and, you know, walking around. So uh, we go to, like, um, the beach. And we're like, oh, yeah, you know, we should totally, like, play, like, manhunt when it turns night. So when it turns idea, night, though. we go back to the beach. How many are you? How many of there are you? Ah, dude, there was, like, 20 or more of us. Oh, and... so there's a lot of kids. Yes, there were. There were like some were like eighteen, some were my age, some were like a little younger, and so uh, so like uh, so we're all like, yeah, let's do manhunt, you know, let's make sure that we always look after everybody and all this stuff. So you know, we go off to do manhunt, and of course, I'm like um, alone. I'm, I'm not alone. I'm like with my friend. Are you still friends and, with this person today? And uh, yeah, uh, his name is Joshua, and so like. Uh, Joshua? Uh, like, we were seeking with wait, another group of people. Wait, wait, Joshua? No, God, Josh. Or is it the Josh that we know from a... No. <laughs> different Josh. Okay, go on. Yeah. And so, uh, so you know, I was, I, was, I was with him, and so they're like, yeah, like, you know, you go with Joshua. And so, like, you know, we're walking down, like, the beach, and we're, like, looking everywhere, and we're looking, like, over the, behind the dunes, and, like, there was, like, some woods. Hiding and shit. And oh, yeah, that's so great. We were, we were looking in there. <laughs> And so, uh, so like, you know, we're just walking up and down the beach, and we're like, yeah, you know. And so, um, so after a while, you know, we find everybody, and then there was like, um, this one girl. I didn't know her name was. Oh, there was a girl. Oh. Yeah, and I didn't know what her you, name was. Was she hot? Um. For her age, when you guys were that young. Sort of. <laughs> the only girl uh, you saw. Like, like, I don't know, probably like a seven or something. <laughs> <like that>. and, <laughs> And so, like, so this girl, and she, like, uh, I didn't know who she was because I, I didn't really talk to her. And uh, I think she told me her name, but I totally forgot. And I was like, oh, and they're like, oh, they're like, where where'd she go? And we're like, because we had everybody there. And we're like, oh, where'd she go? And stuff like that. And so, like, you know, we looked all over for her and stuff like that. And, like, um, I remember she was, like, she was somewhere, like, deep in the woods. It would have been like, funny what? if uh, she was never there the whole time. Like, you guys, <laughs> it would have been funny if she was, like, a ghost or something. <laughs> Yeah, um, and other than that... So, like, did you guys find her? Yeah, we found her like after, after a while. A we hours. had to, like, walk up, like, I swear, like, we were, like, like, there was, like, this trail, and we were walking up the trail, and, of course, we're, like, we're, like, jeez, we're, like, it's so dark out here. We were kind did you guys of, like, have flashlights? Little, yeah, we did, and we're, like, God, it's, like, it was, like, we split up into, like, groups of people to go oh, find God. her and stuff like Search that. Search party. <laughs> And it was just us teenagers, just like in couple like kids that are like in the middle of like kids and a teenager, you pre-teens. know, like preteen. Yeah. And of course, like preteens are with some teenagers, like older teenagers. They're with the eighteen like... year olds because they don't trust you guys. <laughs> <laughs> and so, like, we're looking around. We're like, my God, they're like, where is she? And like, it was really creepy because there were like animal noises going on. No and stuff shit. Like that. And like, it's the woods. No shit. And we're like. We're like getting you know, all like freaked out and everything. Like we had our flashlights and we're like looking around. We're like, where'd she go? And like it was like they're like owl noises. So wait, who who like, found her? Which group? It was another group that found her. But where like was she? the group that I was in, we were going up like this long trail and we actually went up it. That's um, one way to get lost. We actually went up the trail in the morning uh, afternoon, sorry, and like when we got there we went up the trail to get to this park. Like this, like little playground. Yeah. And it's it's like a little like it's actually a pretty good walk, and so like so I'm with like this small group of people, and like it's I think it's like uh, two guys and like one girl and we're like oh so there more than one girl. Yeah, there was, and um, so like we're walking up and we're just like 
uh, we're like, where is she at? And we're like looking around, and there's like all these like noises and like rustling, and we're like, oh god, we're like, this it's is a like, bear. it's a is, bear. We're, we're like, this is like a horror movie or something. We're like, yeah, except you know, we're, instead of eighteen year olds, it's a bunch of kids. What was funny is that um, I was with um, uh, what's his name? Ian, Ian, and um, who do I know? Ian? Uh, uh-uh. and uh, I don't think so. And um, no. he was like. He's like, he's like, I'm getting out of here, and he just like starts running, cause like I swear, like it was really getting he was a pussy. creepy. He was a pussy. Like we started running, <laughs> cause it was like it was like all so, these like. So you guys backed noises. off. So you guys backed off. Yeah, we just like <laughs> we're gotta... like, yeah, we're not going down there anymore. <laughs> cause it was like creepy. Cause it was, yeah, like, so you don't you you don't believe in ghosts and shit. You don't believe my stories, but you believe that. Yeah, I don't know. Like, no, but you you you'll believe that cause it happened to you. We just, we were afraid that it was, like, some animal or something. No, like, see, you'll believe that, but it happened to you. Because, like... Yeah. So, you don't care if I believe it or not, but it happened to you, so you know it's real. Yeah. <laughs> see, that's what my thing is. I don't care if you believe it or not, but I got, like, eight people who can tell you otherwise. Yeah. yeah. See, that's what makes shit creepy. I remember, there was another time I played Manhunt, and, um, and I remember, like, um, we were at, like, a farm, that was owned by some people that we knew, and uh, there were some kids my age there and everything, and we're playing Manhunt, and I remember, like, one of them got, like, uh, actually stepped in, like, fire ants, like a bed of fire ants. <laughs> and, like, so we were just, like, we have, actually, each group had, like, a walkie-talkie, and so we hear over the walkie-talkie that like, oh God, one of oh them, we heard that one of them <laughs> stepped in uh, a bed of ants, <laughs> and um, and we're like, okay, and like I swear to God, like, um, like it was crazy because like we're out like in like the woods and um, we're out there, and I don't know where they were, but they said that they saw wolves. <laughs> What the and, fuck? Um, cause like uh, we were like we're walking around the farm, right? And we had like our flashlights and everything, and um, and they were like, also we heard of the walk tucked It's like, oh, you know, uh, she, we got somebody who stepped in a bed of like ants and like all bit up and everything, and, and we're like, oh, we're like, oh crap, like tell us where you are, and they're like, we don't know where we are, and we're like, oh my god, and so like, do you see flashlights? And they're like, no, we don't see flashlights. We don't see shit. So we're like, okay, we're like, we'll leave our flashlights on and like we'll walk around and like we'll try to find you or whatever and try to help you get back. And um, so they're like, yeah, they're like, yeah, okay, because they're like, we don't know where we are, and we're like, okay, we'll try to find you. And so like um, so we're walking around, we're like, all right, they're like, you see anything yet? And they're like, no, we don't see anything. And so everything got like real quiet, and there were like some animal noises and stuff like that, and um. And we're just, like, walking around, flashlights on, waving them around. And also we hear, like, uh, we hear, like, like somebody whispering. And, um, that's, we're, like... That defines as creepy. <laughs> and we're, like, uh, and they're, like, uh, they're, like, they're, 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 there's, like, a, like, wolves over here. And we're, like, what? And they go, yeah, they're, like, they're, like, I swear, there's, there's, there's wolves. We're looking at them, like, right now. And we're, like, what? And they're, like, no, 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 no. And we're, like, what's going on? And they're, like, there, there's wolves. And we're, like, oh, God. <laughs> and there were there were actually wolves that were actually near them. <clears throat> uh, I think you said whispering. I was like, that's creepy. That's just creepy whispering. Yeah, they they were whispering the into the walkie talkie. Yeah, like th- th- there's God over here. What? God's taking a <laughs> shit over here. What? And we're like, uh, we're like, well, we'll try to find you the fast we can. How and old? So we were you the same there. age? Were you the same age? Yeah, we all were. Actually, I mean, like, we were. Like, was this when you were fourteen? Yeah, this was when I was like thirteen, uh, and um, and like we're like, oh god, we're like, they're like, well, we're like, uh, they're like, let's just just be quiet, I guess, and they're like, okay, and like, and so um, there actually were wolves because you could actually hear howling and stuff. Like Where that. were you in Florida? Yeah. The fuck? Yeah, and um, and so like uh, so you know we finally find them, and they're and I swear they're to all God, crying like bitches. Like they were like, oh god, and then like uh, we're like, okay, like, let's let's just take her. Like it was actually, well, it was a girl that actually got bit, and um, what? yeah, and like she got like torn up by, like, by a wolf, a bunch of ants. 
Oh, no, I thought, dude. You said there was a girl who got bit after we got to the world. <laughs> I was like, what? No, no, it was like a bunch of ants like attacked the crap out of her, oh, and like God. we were like, oh, we we're like, holy crap! They're like, like I swear, like she had them like all over her arms and like neck, face, and dick, and what? <laughs> <laughs> we we're like, oh man, we we're like, oh, dang, man. and so like we helped her get back. And, like, somehow uh, she, like, hurt her foot or something like that. So, like, we had to help her get back. And then, like, you know, uh, uh, like, we got in there and everything. And, like, so one of my friends, like, he's, like, comedian or whatever. And he was, like, he was, like, trying to, like, make like make her laugh and stuff like that. You know, or, like, trying to, like, make her feel better. Because, like, you know, like, she was, like. Bit the fuck up. up. Yes. I swear, man. Like, there was, like, so many ant bites on her. Like, all over her body? Like, it did it go up yeah. to the neck? Mm-hmm. Like, even so, on like, her, face. her nipples had bug bites? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> uh, yeah, but it's not the end of the story. Only huh? thing, only oh, I see was, true. like, only I saw was, like, bites on her legs and arms, and there was, like, tons. And we're like, oh, man. We're like, dang. They must have impregnated her. <laughs> uh, yeah. Well. But so, they uh, were, like, wolves and everything, so that got kind of scary, because we're like, oh, crap. We're like... I, I can't see you in the woods. <laughs> Like, you used really? to be that scared little kind of chubby kid, you know? <laughs> hey, that was then, dude. That <laughs> now was... I, I evolved. I'm the alpha male now, bitch. But, but I I'm mean, alpha like, male. being on that, like, like, that, uh, the place was, like, so creepy, though, because there was, like, a old, uh, building. I know, right? On the property. Like, that wasn't theirs? Yeah, I mean, well, it was theirs because it was on the property. But, but it was, like, like, it was there before there. Yeah, I was there way before there, but it was kind of creepy, though, because, like, it was all old and, like, broken and everything. And it looks it like, like it's haunted as fuck. Yeah. So, uh, that's like... your story, huh? Yeah. And we're, I guess, we're out of time, but... Actually, I had some videos oh. actually recorded you of do? that. Do you have them still? <laughs> uh, no, actually. Fuck, I was gonna say, if you got clips, show them. And, uh, we'll Funny. see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.